یسو نے آپ سب کو سلام سلام ہاللویہ پریز گار خدا ہم کا فضل ہے کہ آج ہم پھر یہاں پر موجود ہیں یہ اس کا رحم ہے اور اس کا فضل ہے ہم پر کہ خدا ہم نے ایک دفعہ پھر ہمیں یہ موقع بخشا کہ ہم خدا ہم کی حضوری میں آئیں اس کے نام کو عزت اور جلال دیں اس کی بیڈیائی کریں اس کے فضل کو جانے اس کی بردوں کو جانے اور اس کے اس رحم کو جانے جو اس نے ہم کے ہم پر کیا ہے تو آئے میرے دل میں کل جب میں کچھ نیوز دیکھیں تو میرے دل میں ایک پیسے جایا تو میں وہ آپ سب کے ساتھ پڑھنا چاہتا ہوں میں چاہتا ہوں کہ ہم سب اپنے قدموں پر کھڑے ہوں گے اور خدا ہم کے مقدس قلعہ میں سے ہم تلاوت کریں گے پیدائش اس کا ستارما باپ جینسیس چیپٹر سیمنٹین اس کی فرس ورس سے لے کے ہم نائنٹ ورس تک اس کی ریڈنگ کریں گے تلاوت کریں گے خدا ہم کے مقدس قلعہ میں یوں لکھا ہے کہ جب ابرام نانوے برس کا ہوا تب خدا مند ابرام کو نظر آیا اور اس سے کہا کہ میں خدا قادر ہوں تو میرے حضور میں چل اور کامل ہو اور میں اپنے اور تیرے درمیان اہد باندھوں گا کیا لکھا ہے جی کیا باندھوں گا اہد باندھوں گا میں تیرے درمیان اور اپنے درمیان اہد باندھوں گا اور تجھے بہت زیادہ بڑھاؤں گا تب ابرام سا نبو ہو گیا اور خدا نے اسے ہم کلام ہو کر فرمایا کہ دیکھ میرا اہد تیرے ساتھ ہے اور تو بہت قوموں کا باپ ہوگا اور تیرا نام بھی پھر ابرام نہیں کہلائے گا بلکہ تیرا نام ابرہام ہوگا کیونکہ میں نے تجھے بہت قوموں کا باپ پھیلا دیا ہے اور میں تجھے بہت برو مند کروں گا اور قومیں تیری نسل سے ہوں گی اور بادشاہ تیری اولاد میں سے برپا ہوں گے اور میں اپنے اور تیرے درمیان اور تیرے بعد تیری نسل سے درمیان ان کی سب پشتوں کے لیے اپنا اہد جو عبدی ہوگا باندھوں گا یہ کون سا اہد باندھے گا جی عبدی اہد عبدی کسے کہتے ہیں فوریور ہمیشہ تک قائم رہنے والا عبدی اہد باندھوں گا تاکہ میں تیرا اور تیری نسل تیرے بعد تیری نسل کا خدا رہوں اور میں تجھ کو اور تیرے بعد تیری نسل کو قرآن کا تمام ملک جس میں تو پردیسی ہے ایسا دوں گا کہ وہ دائمی ملکیت ہو جائیں اور میں ان کا خدا ہوں گا پھر خدا نے ابراہم سے کہا کہ تو میرے اہد کو ماننا اور تیرے بعد تیری نسل پشت در پشت اس کو مانے گا آمین خدا مل کے مقدس قرآن کے پڑے اور سنے جانے پر اس کی برکت ہو آمین تو آئے ہم اپنی آنکھوں کو بند کریں گے اور خدا مل کا شکر ادا کریں گے کہ خدا نے ابراہم کے ذریعہ سے نہ صرف قوم اسرائیل کے ساتھ بلکہ ہمارے ساتھ بھی اپنے اہد کو بہندہ ہے اور اس کا اہد دائمی ہے وہ ہمیشہ تک ہمارے ساتھ رہے گا ہم چاہے جس مرضی سے حالات سے گزریں سرکمسانسز میں سے گزریں جو انسی چیزوں میں سے گزریں ہمارے حالات اچھے ہوں یا برے ہوں خداون کا اہد وہ ہمیشہ ہمارے ساتھ قائم رہتا ہے اور اس نے کہا خدا نے کہا کہ نہ صرف میں تیرے ساتھ بلکہ تیرے بعد تیری نسلوں کے ساتھ اور ان کی نسلوں کے ساتھ کیا کروں گا اپنے اہد کو ہمیشہ قائم رکھوں گا اور میں ہمیشہ تمہارا خدا رہوں گا اے باپ تیرا دل سے شکر ادا کرتے ہیں تو ہی ہمارا خدا ہے تو ہی ہمارا باپ ہے تو ہی ہماری ملکیت ہے ہم تیرے ہیں ہم تیرے جلال کے اندر میں ہیں ہم تیرے اہد کے اندر ہیں ہم تیرے لوگ ہیں اے خدا من تو نے ہمیں اپنے خون سے خریدا ہے اے خدا من جس طرح ابراہم کی نسل اس کے خون میں سے پیدا ہوئی اسی طرح ہم یسو مسیح کے خون میں سے نئے سرے سے پیدا ہوئے ہیں ہم یسو مسیح کے ہیں وہ ہمارا ہے ہم اس کے لوگ ہیں وہی ہماری پناگاہ ہے وہی ہماری چٹان ہے وہی ہمارا قلعہ ہے وہی ہمارا بھروسہ ہے وہی ہمارے چھپنے کی جگہ ہے وہی ہمارا محکم قلعہ ہے وہی ہماری فورس ہے وہی ہماری طاقت ہے ہاللویہ یہ سمسی ناصری ہم دل کی گرائیوں سے تیرا شکر دا کرتے ہیں اس جگہ کو تیرے خون میں چھپا دیتے ہیں جتنے لوگ یہاں پر موجود ہیں ہم سب کو تیرے خون میں چھپا دیتے ہیں ہم سب تیرے جلال کو دیکھنا چاہتے ہیں ہم سب تیرے جلال کو محسوس کرنا چاہتے ہیں ہم تیرے جلال میں رہنا چاہتے ہیں ہم تیرے مسا میں رہنا چاہتے ہیں 
हम तेरी कुदरत को देखना चाहते हैं खुदावन तो आज वर्शिप के वसीला से अपने बंदों के वसीला से अपने कलाम के वसीला से अपनी कवायर के वसीला से अपने खुदा साजों के वीला से वसीला से हम सबको बरकत देना ताकि हम जितने यहाँ पर मौजूद हैं हम तेरे जलाल को महसूस कर सकें और तेरी कुदरत को महसूस कर सकें खुदावन तेरा शुक्र तेरे नाम की हम तमजीद करते हैं और तेरे ही नाम को अब्दुलबाद कहते हैं तेरा तख्स यहाँ पर लग जाए और हम तुझे सिजदा करते रहें और तेरे सिजदा करने के वसीला से है खुदा तुझे सिजदा करने के वसीला से हम बरतों को हासिल करें है खुदा हम में से कोई भी आज खाली हाथ यहाँ से ना लौटे बल्कि तेरे जलाल में हम और बढ़ें और तरक्की करें ताकि तेरे नाम को और ज़्यादा इज्जत और जलाल दे सकें सारा इज्जत सारा जलाल सारी कुदरत सिर्फ और सिर्फ तेरा है ही है सब कुछ तेरे ही प्यारे खूबसूरत जलाली पाक और पवित्र और खूबसूरत यशु मसी नासिर के नाम से मांग लेते हैं अमीन तेरा तो लग चुका है तेरा तो लग चुका है अपने लोगों में खुदा बन तुम मौजूद है अपने बोले गरीबों में तेरा तो लग चुका है तेरा तो लग चुका है अपने लोगों में खुदा बन तुम मौजूद है अपने बोले गरीबों में तेरा तो लग चुका है तेरा तो लग चुका है हर मसला हल हो जाए जब मुश्किल खुशा खुद आ जाए हर मसला हल हो जाए जब मुश्किल खुशा खुद आ जाए हर बिगड़ा काम बने ये सूतू जब आ जाए हर चुका है तेरा तो लग चुका है अपने लोगों में है खुदा बन तू मौजूद है अपने गरीबों में तेरा तो लग चुका है तेरा तो लग चुका है हर बीमारी की तू दवा है हर दुख की तू दुआ है हर बीमारी की दुआ है हर दुख की तू दुआ है वो हर बीमारी की तू दवा है हर दुख की तू दुआ है तेरा 
हुई दाऊद की और किसकी हुई गुलाया की जाति जूलियत की जात का रहने वाला था जूलियत उसका नाम था जब वो अपने बहन भाइयों के पास गया खाना लेके उसके बाप ने उसको भेजा तो उसने वहां पे एक लफ्ज यूज किया उसने कहा ये कौन है जो हमारे खुदा की क्या कर रहा है तजही कर रहा है लेकिन उसने एक वर्ड याद वहां पे बोला आप लोगों को याद है क्या यूज किया वो नहीं ये किया लेकिन उसके लिए कि ये कौन है यस कौन था जी वो नामखतून ये कौन है ये नामखतून है नामखतून हम किसे कहेंगे क्या वो उसकी बॉडी नहीं उसको कह रहा था कि ये फिजिकल है नहीं बल्कि वो जानता था कि ये खुदावंत के अहद के अंदर नहीं है हम मखतून हैं हम खुदा के लोग हैं हम यहोवा के मानने वाले हैं ये तो बंदा कौन है नामखतून है इसके पास खुदा का अहद ही मौजूद नहीं है इसके पास खुदा के वादे मौजूद नहीं है इसके पास खुदा के वर्ड्स नहीं है खुदा ने अपने वादे अपनी नस्ल से किए उसने अब्राहम से कहा कि मैं तुझे और तेरी नस्ल को बरकत दूंगा इस बात को दाऊद अच्छे तरीके से जानता था इसके बावजूद भी दाऊद ने जब जाति जुड़ियत को देखा तो उसने उसकी बॉडी को मैयत नहीं किया कि ये कितना जवान है इसके पास हथियार कितने हैं ये स्ट्रॉन्ग कितना है ये कितना ट्रेंड है ये तो मेरे से तीन गुना बड़ा है उसी शख्स को देख के पूरी इसराइल कौम डरी बैठी थी बीच में सौर भी था जो खुदा का पहले नबी था पूरी कौम इसराइल उस एक शख्स को देख के डरी हुई है लेकिन दाऊद ने कहा यह ना मखतून है और ना मखतूनों से हमें डरने की जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि उनके पास खुदावन का कॉमिनेंट मौजूद नहीं है वो कॉमिनेंट आज कलीसिया के पास है अभी हमारी जिंदगी में भी आने वाले वक्त में बहुत सारे जाति जुड़ियत हमारे राहों में खड़े होंगे वो हमें रोकने की कोशिश करेंगे लेकिन ना हमें उनकी पावर से डरने की जरूरत है ना हमें उनके अख्तियार से डरने की जरूरत है ना हम कि उनकी पॉलिटिक्स से जरूरत है बल्कि सिर्फ और सिर्फ हमें ये देखना है कि हम खुदावंत के कवानंद के अंदर मौजूद हैं जब हम खुदावंत के कवानंद के अंदर मौजूद हैं प्लीज या आज उसके खून के वसीला से उसके कवानंद के अंदर मौजूद है तो हमें किसी से भी डरने की जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि जंग जिन्ना दी लड़दा यह हुआ और जंग कदी नहीं हारते हम मखतून हैं और आ हम ऑलरेडी जंग जीते हुए हैं एमेन आए हम एक जरूर कहेंगे और इसी के साथ अपने हथिया जात जो है वो खुदावत के हजूर में पेश करेंगे
Hallelujah. Come on, every voice. We thank you, Lord. We don't have to, but we thank you that we get to. Thank you. Yes. We get to worship the King of Glory. Yes. We get to lift our voices in praise and adoration. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We get to sing of our Daddy. Yes. We get to exalt our Lord Jesus. Thank you for this privilege. We thank you that according to your word and your promise, you're here in the midst of your people. And Lord, as we transition from now worshiping you to hearing your voice, let us do so in the act. Even as we put all other things aside to heed that which you have for us, let it be our worship to you. That we give your word and you the utmost honor, respect, and attention. Father, for every soul that is gathered, I speak your blessing upon them. For every hand that has stretched forth and given into your kingdom, I pray your blessing upon them. Meet every need that your sons and daughters have, according to the riches of your heavenly treasures. We pray all of these things in Christ's name. And everyone said, Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We won't take too long. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just work with us. We don't know what happened, but today became a different kind of a wrestling. All of a sudden, we're wrestling with sound again, which is never the case for the most part, but something happened. But I think the Lord still received our praises uh, regardless. Amen. So this is not my voice you're hearing. I'm using Brother Richard's mic. Pretend you're hearing his voice. The mic is... All the frequencies are set to his vo voice. So I feel like I sound like Ledu up here, which is not a bad thing. It's cool, but amen. Praise God. If you're visiting us for the first time, we do want to welcome you in the love of Christ. Both in person or online, we do welcome you in the love of Christ. Would you give our dear sister a Trinity welcome as she's here? Also, would you honor, thank you. Would you also honor the woman of God, Pastor Edmina Mola? She's also. Hello, hello, praise Jesus. All right. Hello. This. One, two. We were, we were fine with. Praise God. We'll, we'll, stay, we'll stay on this, thank you. Amen. No matter how the mics are, they always work really well for Brother Richard. So if you're ever on stage, his mic is the mic to go for. 
I don't know what it is. It's like favor of the Lord on his mic. It always just works. Praise God. Amen. Once again, um, I know there was, Pastor Shimon was also uh, meant to come, but he's not here. We'll welcome him a little later. Um, there are a few announcements that I have, but I'm going to wait until the end of the service to share those with you. But let's go right into God's word as God has a word for us today. Go with me to Deuteronomy. I know we just sat down. You just got comfortable. Just um, one more time to stand to your feet. There's nothing uh, ritualistic or extra holy about this. We just stand for the honor of God's word as we publicly read it together in his presence. So Deuteronomy, Estishnar, Taishwambab, chapter 28. It is a famous chapter. It's one of the, one of the chapters that's most uh, Googled and read um, from what I've come to, to learn. It is indeed, both 27 and 28 are the most studied, um, both in context of grace and law. Um, but I do believe that God is speaking to us through this portion of his word today. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Now it shall be, if you diligently obey the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments, which I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. All these blessings will come upon you and overtake you if you obey the Lord your God. That's a good place for an amen. amen. The message that is on my heart today is blessings and curses. Barakat or lanat. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Spirit of the living God, would you fall afresh on us today as we navigate your word. Lord, uh, to the best of our ability, we pray that your spirit would take over. Your spirit would be leading us, teaching us through this portion of the text. I pray that we're able to identify many areas that you want us to work out in our lives through the grace that is available. And that we would not be negligent living a life that is not how you intended for it to be. Let your strength now, Lord, overtake even me. In all of my weakness, let your strength be perfected. And I pray that every word that is spoken is measured, weighted, and above all, edifying to the body of Christ. For I pray all this now in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. The message that is on my heart, youth and children ministry, you guys can go. Try to rejoin us at the end. We are going to go into a time of prayer at the end of our service. Um, as a family, as a church, we'll spend some time in prayer. Um, so let's go into God's word together. The message that is on my heart today is blessings and curses, even as I've introduced it. And so before we go into our text this morning, I want to begin by saying, God desires to bless us. God desires for his desire is to bless us. We, we have to start from there. The very purpose and heart of God is to bless us. Many times we approach God as if he's an angry God. And, and maybe that's just the way we've been taught. We're taught that God is this angry God and everybody starts at the bottom and you kind of have to work your way up. And they have to kind of work their way up. I was sharing with the, the fuel ministry on Friday that I had a professor in college, one professor, only one that did this. He told us on the first day of class, Everybody starts at an F. And you have to work your way up to that A. So if, you know, quarter, uh, progress report, he says, if you got a D, don't be disappointed. You're headed in the right way. 
But he didn't know that my family wouldn't take that well. You can't come home with a D, even on a progress report. But that's sometimes how we think about God. That this is this angry God, and he's just sitting there all angry. He's just going to strike me down. That's not how God is. That's not our God. Hamara Khudamad Asa Khuda Nahi hai kahe Ameen. But rather our God desires to bless us. One preacher put it this way. Imagine that Asman par a refrigerator hai. Or us refrigerator ke upar aap ki tasfir lagi hai. Taki aap ka asmani bab chalte pirte telte aap ko dekhe. Don't we do that with our children? I know I do that with my kids. Mere dono bacho ki photo jo hai. It's on the fridge. My nieces' pictures are on it. Nephews, all the kids that I want to look at, their pictures are on the fridge. Why? Because I love them. And even though they're growing, I still look at those small pictures and my heart is full of joy. That's how our God is. And he, no, your picture is not on a fridge in heaven. That's bad theology. It's even deeper. The Bible says your picture is graven on the palm of your God. And he looks at it continually. Say amen. amen. And so we have to approach this text with this lens. That God wants to bless me. My God loves me. My God's heart is full towards me. Amen. Anytime we approach the scriptures, and I say this often, you should write this down because you know this is one of the things your pastor says often. Every time you approach the scripture, you will either encounter a promise of God, you will encounter a principle of God, or you will encounter a prophecy. You'll either encounter a promise You'll encounter a principle. Principles What's the other word for uh, principle? Asul Every week I ask you guys this just to make sure y'all are paying attention. And so when we approach the test, text, we see which is this? This is promises. Amen. And even as, as Brother Sahil, as he was leading us into the presence of God, he says, though these promises are with Abraham and his descendant, now through Christ, we have been joined to those promises as well. Amen. But all promises are not unconditional. Some promises absolutely are conditional. For example, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That is an unconditional promise. Unconditional promise hai. I have loved you with an everlasting love. That is unconditional. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Those are unconditional promises. But they are conditional promises in scripture as well. If my people who are called according to my Name would humble themselves and pray, I will open the floodgates of heaven. That is a conditional promise. Or we read, He who remains faithful till the end, to him I will give the crown of life. Conditional promise. Are we together? All things are possible for them who believe. Jo iman rakhte hain, unke liye sab kuch mumkin hai. Conditional promise. These are not unconditional promises. And so the blessings of Deuteronomy 28. Jo istishna, istishna? 
conditional blessings Khudavand ne rakhi hain. Now if you look at this chapter, it has 68 verses in it. 68. Urdu may be 68 hi hain. Mujhe number nahi aata, but you know what I'm saying. There's 68 verses. Now I can't go through all of them today. I'm not going to go through all of them today. But I want to encourage you lovingly, go through this together. There are many blessings that we leave on the table. There are many curses that we don't understand because we never open God's word for what is available to us. 14 of these verses are the blessings of God. Is baap mein 14 ayat barkat hain. And 54 of them are curses. And so let's begin to look at the effects of blessings. Is that what I have? Zaria. That's what I wrote. Google translation. There were seven that were outlined as you go through this chapter. One, you will be exalted. God will exalt you. You will be lifted up. You will not be under the weight of anything or anyone. Aap kisi ke bhi dabao ke niche nahi rahenge. Aap ko khudamid is tarha ki barkat dena chata hai. That you will never be under the pressure of anyone because he will exalt you. Amen. Dusri barkat, he will make you fruitful. Tum phal dar hoge. You will be fruitful in the field. You will be fruitful in your business. You will be fruitful in your relationship. You will be fruitful in your reproduction. The blessing of God for His people is that He desires for us to be a people who are fruitful. Say Amen. He would, the third blessing is the blessing of health. He desires for us to be healthy, mentally healthy, emotionally healthy, physically healthy. These are blessings that God desires from us. Then He wants us to be prosperous. We would prosper in all of our ways. He desires for us to be victorious. Everyone says, say victorious. Oh, amen. <laughs> he wants us to be victorious people. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do it. We are not going to be able to do That is a blessing that God has for us. He wants us to be those of authority when He says that you will be the head. That means you will be of authority. I heard a preacher say it this way. And many people just are being dragged around. They're being dragged around. The politicians are saying do this. The, 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 the government is saying do this. These officials are saying do this. This political scene says do this. This is the norm and this. And it's like the fashion industry is saying do this. We have no thought process of our own. It doesn't matter. But God desires that we are the head. We are not the ones who are dragged by influence. We are the people of influence. Someone say amen. That's what God has as a blessing. And 17, uh, 7 is that we are to be above and not beneath. We are to be above. That means we are to be those of strength. These are the seven means or the seven effects of the blessing. Now let's look at some of the effects of curses. Lanaton ke jo effects hain. Lanat ke zariye ya lanat ke us arat. Wo bhi Man, I love you guys. You guys speak such good Urdu. 
Makes my, my Urdu even better. Amen. One, these are curses. Just jot these down. If I hit, the, if, if you find yourself on this list, man, that is an effect in my life. Don't worry. Because when we prayed this afternoon, by the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, those curses are going to break. Say amen. So don't worry. This is the love that Christ has for us. That he would reveal these things to us in his love. Amen. The very first thing is humiliation. Just go to the mein zillat kaha jata hai. Humiliation. God didn't, that is a curse that comes from God towards us. Ke humare upar humiliation aati hai. Then barrenness or failure to reproduce. No matter what we do, hum pal nahi dekh rahe. We're studying, 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 not seeing fruit. We're working, 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 not seeing fruit. We're investing, 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 not seeing fruit. We're saving, 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 not seeing fruit. Our homes are not fruitful. Our jobs are not fruitful. Our families are not fruitful. That loved one is a curse. Barrenness in scriptures is a curse. Baj puna jo hai. It is a curse, whether it is a tree or it is a person. God never designed us to be barren. Say amen. Sickness of all kind. Har tarhaki bimariya. Har tarhaki bimariya. Or especially aisi bimariya, jinka doctoron ko bhi hal nahi pata. Pata nahi ki yeh tano. Lord, he jaw to see, right? Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, sicknesses that they can't figure out. They can't deal with. They don't know. They just happen. That we can't express. Hum khud nahi zahir kar paate ya samjha sakte ke hume kaun si bimari tang kar rahi hai. Loved one, that is a curse. Poverty or failure. Garibi ya failure. Now listen, if you, agar kis thode vakt ke liye a hamare upar garibi aati hai, that could be a test. But if there is a continual, unbreaking cycle of poverty, ke har roz, har hafte, har mahine, but there's just this scraping up, scraping up, I gotta make it work, I gotta, and ditna banate hai, is just leaking out. Jitna bhi hum save karte hain, aisa hai, ke jaise thaliyon mein surak hain. That is a curse. That is a curse. Defeat, humari zindagi mein shikast hai. No matter what we're doing, we feel that we are defeated. Ya hum bebas hain, we are helpless. Like I mentioned before about the tail, jaise dum hai. It can't do anything, it has to take the orders from the head. Hum bebas hain, or we are beneath. We are weak, ya hum kamzor hain. These are the indicators. These, sorry, these are the effects. Ye effects hain lanaton ke. Jab ye cheeze humari zindagiyo mein aana shuru ho jayin. Or they begin to be strong in our lives. Loved ones, we need to come back to the Lord. Amen. Because His very desire is to free you from this. Somebody say, Amen. Let's look at the indicators or marks of curses. اب مسیحی ہوتے ہوئے خداون نے ہم سے ایسی محبت کی ہے کہ اس نے ہمیں کلام پاک میں in his word he has given us what we should be looking for what we should be looking for a few years ago we went through something called the covid era and they told you what you should be looking for right they said آپ کو چلز ہوں گے آپ کا گلہ خراب ہوگا and we were like, Hame to chills hote hai. Hame to hote hai. Then they came up with something different, new. They're like, you won't be able to smell. And we're like, okay, that's a good indicator. That's a good indicator. It was something that didn't happen. You'll lose your taste. Taste buds, Johan, will... And you're like, man, we're this. We need taste, right? Everything needs taste. But those were indicators. Similarly, we should be looking for some indicators. This is to say 
that if this is happening in my life, there is a possibility that there is a curse which is going unaddressed. Ab yaad rakhiye, jo lanate zindagi mein hoti hai, they could be the effect of your own decisions. Wo aapke faislon ke tehet bhi lanate aa sakti hai, or they could be generational curses. They could be coming down the line and you had nothing to do with it. But for whatever reason, that's how your life is. And as we go through God's word today, you're like, you know what? I've got that going on in my life. We need to break the generation line today as well. Say amen. We came to do some work today, church. Amen. We came to do some work in the spirit realms. Hallelujah. Some are self-imposed. Some come through family line. And I want you to understand that just because a curse is at work in your life does not mean you're not saved. If there is a curse in your life, it doesn't mean that you are not saved. That's the wrong kind of teaching. That's the wrong kind of teaching. Kind of teaching. Kind of teaching. You could be saved you can love Jesus, but the effect of the curse could still be upon you, and you could be living a life that is not full of joy. The Bible says that the devil comes to rob and to kill and to destroy. Dushman jo hai, he has a three-part agenda. Wo aapko kya karne aata hai? Chori, marne, aur halak karne. Now by the account of the blood of Jesus, Khudawind Yesu Masih ke lahu ke sabab se, wo hume maar nahi sakta, kyunke hamari jaan uske haathon mein mehfooz hai. But he can very well rob us still. Or bohot Masihi aise hain, wo Masih mein hain, wo Masih se mohabbat bhi karte hain. But the effect of this curse, keeps coming and overwhelming them. But praise be to God who has given us the victory in Christ Jesus to overcome all of these things. If you're going to do it for Jesus, give Jesus the best praise. I'm not here for that. It's about Jesus. And so let's look at the markers that we see in Deuteronomy 28. Again, the idea is to find these effects and break them by the blood of the Lamb. One, the indicators, the markers. These are markers of the curses. Mental and emotional breakdowns. Continual. There's always a breakdown. Always having meltdowns. This is when someone is completely helpless. Be bus shucks hai. They just can't cope. Even with the smallest amount of pressure, they melt down, they break down. Or they have repeated chronic sicknesses. Bar bar unko koi na koi bimari akar lag jati hai. Jo bhi bimariya Google mein hai, kabi na kabi zindagi mein unko zarur chuegi. That is a marker. That is an indicator that something is not right. Or female complications. Jo havateen ke missile hain. For example, barrenness. Barrenness. Na ulad na hona. Or continual miscarriages. Miscarriages ho jana. Or a problem with their monthly cycle. Either too much or too less or something of that sort. These are problems that females endure. And we have to understand that maybe behind that, there is a curse line that needs to be broken. Or we can't say, okay, I got this abnormal thing, I'll just take some medication. No, we have a medication that is better than any other medication that this world can give us. And that is our faith and our hope in the Christ that is. That's what we have. Or, breakdown of marriages. Talaq. Mere papa ki bhi talaq. Meri bhi talaq. Olaad ki bhi talaq. There's a line of divorces that continue. Loved one, that is a curse. 
breaking of marriages, divorces, family alienations, continual financial insufficiencies, always scraping, short, always running short. If it's for a little time, I get that. That's God testing us. Even as He tested the apostles, even as He tested the prophets to live in their means. But if it's a continual problem, and you are always having a handout. And you're always having a handout for someone to give. Loved one, there is a curse that needs to be broken. Somebody who's accident prone. Every day they fall. Every day something happens. Some, it's their arm. It's their leg. It's this. It's that. That is a problem. Or a history of unnatural deaths in their family. Unke handano me unnatural death. I heard a story from a church ministry in Pakistan. Ke ek bhai tha. Usne aake kaha ke main apne handan me pehla shaksu. I'm the first male in my family jo pachasvi birthday mana raha hai. My dad did not live till 50. My granddad didn't live till 50. My great granddad didn't live till 50. My uncles didn't live to 50. No one lives till 50. But that generation curse broke that day over his life. And he is now well, well in his 70s. And those are curses that come in our family. Yeh lineage mein, families mein, lanate aati hain. Aur yeh asar hain. These are the effects of these curses. So let's get started in our text. This is the pre-sermon. I hope you are all together. What brings blessing and what brings curses? Go quickly back to the text at hand, Deuteronomy 28 1. Now it shall be if you diligently obey, if you've got your scriptures open, highlight it, underline it, uh, underline this. If you diligently obey, it, the word translated is if you continually obey not just obey on Sundays but daily you are observing and you are obeying that which your God being uh, obey the Lord your God being careful to do all his commandments which I command you today the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth all these blessings hallelujah will come upon you and overtake you if you obey the Lord your God. Go one uh, few verses down to verse 15. But it shall come about. If you do not obey the Lord your God. To observe and to do all his commandments. And his statutes. Which I charge you today. That all these Curses shall come upon you and overtake you. There's only one word that is the answer of what brings blessing and what brings curses. Obedience. If you obey, you'll be blessed. If you disobey, You'll be cursed. Now I'm saying these are the effects. The effects. Being healthy, being wealthy, being all of this thing. These are effects of the blessing. The blessing is that God is pleased with you. Amen. I ain't got time to get into that. But the primary cause of blessing is listening to God. Doing what he says. The primary cause of curses is not listening to God. And being disobedient. That is crucial. In John, Pahla Yohanna Panchram Baptisriai, first John 5 3, the word of God says, and this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. His commandments are not burdensome. 
There's a lot of unnecessary burden that we bring upon ourselves. असल में जितने बोझ हमने उठाए हुए हैं वो इसलिए नहीं कि उसके हुक्मों को मानना बहुत मुश्किल है नो द रीजन आर लाइव आर ओवर वेल्ड विद बर्डन इज बिकॉज वी चूज टू बी डिसोबीडियंट एंड दैट डिसोबीडियंट ब्रिंस अननेसेसरी बर्डन इन आर लाइफ इमेजिन दैट वी आर इन दिस रूम डोंट इमेजिन वी आर इन दिस रूम नर मैन बैटल स्ट्रीट पर सोचिए कि मैं आपको कहता हूं कि इस सारे कमरे में विद इन दिस रूम दे आर स्मॉल नीडल्स छोटी छोटी आई वॉज लुकिंग फॉर द उर्दू वर्ड पर चले पंजाबी ठीक है सुइया दे आर ऑल ओवर दिस प्लेस एंड एवरी वन ऑफ दोज नीडल्स रेप्रेजेंट्स ब्लेसिंग्स जितनी भी वो सुइया है तो नहीं भी नहीं पता उर्दू का लफज गूगल करो सुइया देर ऑल ओवर दिस प्लेस एंड आई सेड गो गेट योर ब्लेसिंग ना हाउ बर्डन सम वुड इट बी कितने बोझ वाला काम है कि हम जाएं और एक सुई को उठाएं और जाएं और दूजी सुई को उठाएं और तीजी ओके आई हैव दिस ब्लेसिंग आई हैव दिस ब्लेसिंग आई हैव दिस ब्लेसिंग बट देन आई से स्टॉप लेट मी गिव यू दिस मैग्नेट that is easy to handle and all you have to do is just sweep and all of the blessings will attract themselves to you that is how the blessings of god work if we are obedient to god's word we become the magnet and we don't have to go running after these blessings loved ones let me tell you the blessing will find you say amen the blessing will come running to you it will come attracting to you why because that is the principle of how god blesses amen and so for the sake of time oh uh, we must we must move for the sake of time i want to share that blessings and curses are brought to us by three different means lanate aur barkate jo hain wo sirf aur sirf khudaavan ki taraf se nahi aati First, yes, they come from God. God gives blessing. God allows curses. Are we together? Right. The second is people of authority. Jis kisi ko bhi khudaamand ne ekhtiyar diya hai. So, for example, ghar me, the Bible says he has given the husband authority over the wife. He has given parents. authority over the children he has given teachers authority over students he has given pastors authority over congregation and so blessing and curses can come through those of authority we'll look at that as well and third is we can bring blessings and speak blessings and speak curses upon ourselves hum apne upar laanate ya barkate bol sakte hain So what brings curses in our lives? We've got a lot to cover. We've got food after church, so we're going to cover it all. Amen. Usually say amen. Come on. <laughs> Usually when we got a meal after church, I just cover it all. I said I got time. All right, things that are going to bring curses in our lives. Take notes. Please. False gods. Jhoote khuda Exodus 20 verse 3 says you shall have no other gods before me lowercase g you should have no other gods before me aur tum kisi aur khuda ki ibadat na karna Isaiah 45 verse 5 says i am the lord and there is no other beside me the hebrew translation is that and accurate for both verses You should have no other god before me or beside me. Koi bhi khudaamand na mere samne na mere saath hai kyunki main hi wahid ek khuda hu. I need you to understand something. I wrote this. Let me get it out and then I'll talk to you. The Bible is clear there is no other god. Aur koi khuda nahi hai. The Bible tells us there's only one god and he is the creator. and in creation kuch jo the create creations 
They rebelled against God. And the Bible says that they were cast down. But those who were cast down have powers and have authority as well. And because they have power and influence, they are operating and many are believing them as though they are God. But there is only one God. They are influenced by forces of demonics. Are we understanding? Now you're going, Pastor, that's very arrogant and that's very mean. But I would rather be arrogant and mean and speak the truth than to be polite and diplomat and all of those things, so, you know, that's your thing and, my, and lie. But the Bible truth is this. There is only one God and that is Yahweh. That's it. The triune God whom we serve and for whom we live and breathe and through whom is our being. Siraf eki khuda hai jo zinda khuda hai aur jitne bhi hain. They are only through the influence of the fallen demons. That's it. That is not the study. But anytime we begin putting things in the same category with God, we are bringing a curse upon ourselves. Jab bhi hum kisi bhi cheez ko khudaavan ke saath jodna shuru kar dein. Ya kahein ke iske liye mein idhar jata hoon aur uske liye mein udhar jati hoon. You are bringing a curse upon yourself. Why? Because God will not have it. The Bible says, He is not mocked. Hamara Khudawan Johanna, what tatome ni uraya jata. No way, no how. He is not mocked. He is a jealous God. You will not have any other God before me. If you worship your money more, if you say that the Lord will be my necessity and more necessity, you have just placed money in the same category as God. The Lord will give me the Lord and that will also give me the Lord to the Lord. You just give me the Lord and put God and something else. If we go to any other thing, apni kisi bhi zarurat ke liye jo khudaavand ko puri karni chahiye that is putting a God next to God and God will not have it and we will open a door for curses the second thing that brings curses is idolatry a call urdu mein hum kehte hain but prasti idol worship deuteronomy 27 15 cursed be the man who makes a carved or cast metal image, an abomination to the Lord, a thing made by the hands of a craftsman, and sets it up, and all the people shall answer and say, Amen. Jitni bhi lanate hai na, agar unko aap categories mein laya hai, sab se jyada lanate in do hukmo ke upar hai. Idolatry, God is not going to accept it. And you might not have been an idol worshiper. Shayad aap to us cheez ko practice nahi karte. Lekin aap ke baap dada shayad karte the. The lanat has continued. We need to cut it. Say amen. Any of those. There are even sects within the Christian faith. Masihi sect mein bhi. Kuch mazhabhe aisi hain. Taaleem mein aisi hain. We are not to do any form of idol worship. That means clothing idols. That means putting sacrifices in front of idols. That means bathing any idol. We are not to do that. And if we partake in that, we are calling the curse of God upon ourselves. The third thing that brings curses, Deuteronomy 27, 16, is dishonoring our parents. Apne ma baap, ko dishonor karna. Urdu mein dishonor kya hai? It's not disobedience. Na farmani nahi. Jinnah de chote bachche na na ek daun kya na farmani. Na 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 na. You can be, you can be in disagreement, but bezati karna. Kya? Izzat na karna. 
God ain't about that. No. Here's what scripture says. Cursed be anyone who dishonors his father and his mother. And all the people shall say amen. If Sion Chedabab, honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment, with a promise, a blessing attached, that it may be well with you, and that you may live a long life on earth. Any person who does not honor his mother or father hinders God's blessings. Jo apne maabab ki izzat nahi karta, wo apne liye asman se barkaton ko rokta hai. Now you may have a, a mean parent. Aapke maabab, they could be bad, they could be mean. I have read stories, spoken to people. I have dealt with cases where women, girls were, were molested by their own fathers. But that does not, does, as, as, as hard as that is, and as, as awful as that is, the Bible still does not allow for us to dishonor our parents. Irrelevant of how worthless they may have been towards you. Because you now have Jesus. And you can say, Father, help me to love like Jesus. Help me to forgive like Jesus, who was humiliated, abandoned, dragged on the streets. Help me to love like Jesus. And I assure you, He will grant you strength to love like Jesus. To forgive like Jesus. But along with that, loved one, there is a blessing that is hindered. Ek aisi barkat hai. To live your life on this earth. To enjoy the blessings of this earth. Look at the promise. The promise is this. Ke tumhari zindagi zameen par khushri se ho. You will live a wholesome enjoyable, prosperous life on this earth. And I have seen aankhon se dekha. Kisi ne bhi apne maa baap ko gali andi hai ya maara hai unki zindagi is zameen par hi nar hai. Their life is hell on this earth. Demons have taken over. Evil spirits have taken over. They have almost come to the place of not having the right mind. Unke zehen operate nahi karte. They are consumed with addictions and things like that. Kyun? Kyunki asman se lanat aajati. Are we together? Amen. And listen, if you've been in that place that you have not been able to do that, that doesn't mean you're not saved. That doesn't mean you lost your salvation. That just means we need to come to Jesus and say, Lord, help me break this curse over my life. And he is faithful. Someone say amen. amen. Let me skip a few of these. <clears throat> what brings curses in our lives? Sexual sin. That's number six on the slide. Jin si guna. Sexual sin. Deuteronomy 27, 20. Cursed be anyone who lies with his father's wife. Because he has uncovered his father's nakedness. And all the people shall say amen. Cursed be anyone who lies with any kind of animal. And let all the people say amen. Cursed be anyone who lies with his sister. Whether the daughter of his father or the daughter of his mother. And all the people shall say amen. Cursed be anyone who lies with his mother-in-law. And all the people shall say amen. And then Leviticus chapter 20 verse 10 say. A man who commits adultery with another man's wife. He who commits the adultery with his neighbor's wife and the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. This is a large study. But let me tell you, there are curses that are associated with sexual sin. And sometimes we think, Chale galti ho gay. But you've never broken that lineage. You've never broken the curse line. You've never set yourself apart from that. And so even in your marriage and even in your life, you are wrestling and hurting daily. But the Lord has come to give you a life and life of abundance. But it is required 
that we break those lines. We break those lines. Paul teaches that if a man gives his body over to a harlot, they are not two, they have come one in spirit. Ye cheese in jesse sexual disease transfer hoti hai, sexual curses transfer bhi hoti hai, samjiye. And in the culture and in the life that we live, multiple partner is almost like normalized. It's like and, and switching spouses and, and wicked sins of those sorts. They are there because the devil wants our lives to be filled, contaminated with filth and curses. But praise be to God that he sends his word and through his word sends healing so that we could be free. Say amen. We got to be careful. We got to be careful. Young people and old. We got to be careful. These things bring curses. And then it goes line to line. And if that has been you, don't be afraid. That curse will break today. Amen. Other things that... So the first source of curses and blessings is God Himself. The second source is anyone in authority. आपके ऊपर खुदावन की तरफ से बरकतें और लानतें आ सकती हैं। दूसरा, आपके ऊपर वाल्देन की तरफ से, उस्तादों की तरफ से, पासबानों की तरफ से बरकतें और लानतें आ सकती हैं। Amen. Many times we hinder the blessings of God because we are not in submission to the authority God has established. It is not popular. ये आम नहीं है, especially at the part of the world you are sitting in. But there is an order and there is a design by God. Christ is the head of the man. Man is the head of the woman. And the woman and the man are the head of the children. That is not Azar Alam's design. That is not the King James design. That is God's design. And loved ones, bohat dafa hum apni barkate khud roke hoye hote hain because we don't want to submit to that line order. And we go to the thing, ab si yasu mein sab jo hain wo ek hain. Listen, let's not pull things out of context to satisfy our own theology. The order that God established is the order by which He blesses. Amen. And so let me start with the husbands. <laughs> Amen. <clears throat> you have been given a privilege. Jitne bhi shohar yahan par hain. Jitne bhi shohar. I'm not trying to bring, put you on the spot. This is heavy on my heart that I say these things to you. God has given you the privilege. Ye khudawan ki taraf se aapke liye privilege hai. That he has made you the head of the house. It's a privilege from God. You didn't do anything to get it. You didn't deserve it, earn it, or any of that. It's a privilege. Amen. It is a privilege that I also share. Bible tells us that Isaac prayed for the barrenness of his wife, and God blessed her. The things that you speak over, husbands, the things that you speak over your wife, over your children, is very crucial. आप कौन सी चीजें अपनी बीवी और अपनी औलाद के ऊपर बोल रहे हैं ये बहुत जरूरी है समझना if you want to see radical changes in your spouse begin to speak blessings over them speak blessing of health speak blessing of understanding speak blessing of wisdom grace kingdom mindedness and peace over them ये जरूरी है शहरों के लिए क्यों क्योंकि खुदावन ने आपको इस मकाम पर रखा है कि आप बरकत अपनी अजवाज के लिए अपनी बीवी के लिए बोलें it is on you ये नहीं खुदावन बरकत देगा खुदावन तो देगा तो जड़ी तुसी अपने को रखी है उधर की हिसाब तो उसका भी होना है husbands make this a point if you're always speaking negative over your wife those are curses तू तो पागल है, तू तो बेवकूफ है, तू बेसमझ है, तू तो ये है, तू तो वो है, तू ऐसी नहीं है। Nothing you're going to do is going to fix that, और वो वैसी की वैसी ही रहेगी जी। But if you want to see your wife excel, I heard a preacher say this. I hope I I quote it right. He said this: 
खुदावंद में आदमी को आदम को बात हो रही है God created everything and gave it to Adam but he didn't give him the finished product understand this jo bage adam tha it was beautiful koi keh sakta ke bage adam jo tha wo beautiful nahi tha obviously it was beautiful kisne banaya kisne banaya machli ko khuda ne parindon ko khuda ne khuda ne banaya obviously khoobsurat hai theek hai na adam ko kya kaha work it इसके ऊपर काम कर अब खुदावत को कैसे था खुदावत तूने तो तू तो कामिल है तू तो परफेक्ट भी दे सकता था मुझे मुझे कुछ ना करना पड़े ऑटोमेटिक ही फल आए ऑटोमेटिक ही सब कुछ हो जाए मुझे कुछ ना करना पड़े इस दरों पर बट गॉड डिन गिव हिम द फिनिश प्रोडक्ट ही सेड ना यू वर्क इट इन द सेम वे खुदावत ने आदम के ऊपर ही गॉड सन some some good nap the best nap he had cuz after that he never took a nap praise be to jesus <laughs> oh hallelujah praise god amen hallelujah we call those guilt free naps in my home i sneak them in whenever i can but god told him to take a nap and then god brought up the wife but look at this He could have made her perfect too. He did. He created her wonderfully. The Bible says fearfully and wonderfully I have been made. Khuda wa de usko khoobsurat banaya. He gave her everything but for the man there was still a job. Lead her. Bless her. Build her. Encourage her. That is the job of the husband. स्पीक ब्लेसिंग क्यों क्योंकि आपके अथॉरिटी वाला खुदावन ने बनाया है आमीन हम अथॉरिटी तो सब न पसंद है बंदे आनो पर अथॉरिटी के साथ जिम्मेदारी भी है यू नो अंकल बेन सेड इट दिस वे अंकल बेन इज पीटर पार्कर्स दैट विद ग्रेट पावर कम्स ग्रेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ग्रेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ओवर द हजबेंड टू स्पीक ब्लेसिंग एज फादर्स आई एम स्टिल टॉकिंग टू द मैन I want to encourage you to be careful with the words you speak towards your children. My wife is always correcting me. She's always like, "Watch what you say to them." And I'm always like, "I didn't say it to them. I said it about the situation." <laughs> Still, you're speaking it over, and I have to be careful. I have to be mindful. And I'm learning. God be the praise. The words of the father to their son and daughters are crucial. very very important if you continually call your child worthless agar aap apne aulad ko har waqt ye the naka tu the nakamma hai tu the hadra mein tu the ye mein you are incompetent you are worthless you are meaningless guess what they're going to be exactly that exactly that don't be surprised if you raise a lazy child if you call them lazy their whole life don't be mothers we have to be careful along with the fathers if you take too much pride in the physical beauty of your son and you start speaking things like oh he's going to be a ladies man oh ladies watch out here comes my son uh yeah the spirit of lust will chase your son and it is you who would have opened that door be very careful bahut मेजर कर कर अपने अल्फाज बोला करें अपनी औलाद के ऊपर इंस्टेड स्पीक हेल्थ स्पीक ग्रोथ स्पीक विजडम ओवर देयर लाइफ समबरी से ए मैन यू गेट टू चूज हमारे ऊपर ये चॉइस है ऑप्शन है विल वी स्पीक ब्लेसिंग और विल वी स्पीक हर्सेस द ब्लेसिंग ऑफ टीचर्स और इवन पास्टर्स स्क्रिप्टर्स टेल एस कलाम हमें बताता है दैट Moses blessed Joshua Elijah blessed Elisha in the same way Jesus blessed his disciples and then we see in the teaching of the apostles that Paul blessed Titus and Timothy sometimes the teachers talk down on your kids parents please understand ke aap jab apni aulad ko school mein bhejte hain they are not being taught by godly men and women 
they may be very intellectual they may be great in academia wo kisi high rank mein ho sakte hain lekin iska ye maani nahi ke khuda ka dar khuda ka khauf khuda ki mohabbat unke dilon mein hai so they may very well speak something into your child's life it is our job to go ahead and investigate to sit down with our child and if anything has been spoken that is not of god or by god it is your job to go ahead and cancel that in Jesus name say amen parents we cannot trust our children to the hands of just everyone we have to be careful and if they come back and say my teacher said i'm stupid don't go fighting the teacher you won't win because system broken hai no instead that say well they don't know that god loves you and god chose you and you are chosen by god and you are fearfully and wonderfully made god has a plan for you and you will be prosperous you will be the head and not the tail speak that over your child amen i'm trying to rush there's so much still to go and so just as god allows curses as a response to disobedience curses and blessing also come from people in authority and so the last one that i'll touch is self imposed self imposed jo hum khud apne upar laanatein bol dete hain we speak curses over ourselves go to genesis 27 paidaish sataish sab jacob said to rebecca his mother look esau my brother is a hairy man and i am a smooth skinned man he was a man from the future perhaps my my father will feel me and i shall seem to be a deceiver to him and i shall bring a curse upon myself and not a blessing but his mother said aur uski maa ne ye bola maa wo dhyan na bole maa ne kya bola let your curse be upon my only obey my voice we got to be careful that we don't speak curses over ourselves word of god tells us that life and death is in our mouth zindagi aur maut ki baatein hamare labon mein hain we can choose to speak life or we can choose to speak death we should speak the word of god jitna bhi ho sake the word is affirmations yaad rakhiye ke shaitan already aapke khilaf hai hello the devil already is against you don't join his team and be against yourself also उसकी टीम का हिस्सेदार मत बनिए ही ऑल रेडी इज योर एनिमी दिस इज अ मैटर ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल वॉर एट मेनी टाइम्स एंड द एनिमी इज ऑलवेज अटैकिंग अस टू मेक अस फील वर्थलेस यस टुडे आई वाज एंगेज इन अ वॉरफेयर अलोंग साइड ऑफ अ यंग ब्रदर बाय गॉड्स ग्रेस ही हैज एवरीथिंग He's got good health, good job, financially good, good family. But he has unexpected meltdowns that happen very frequent. And lately they have been lasting very long. He would have a meltdown in the past, but you know, maybe for a few hours or 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 maybe for one day. But recently this warfare has 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 increased tremendously that when he has a meltdown jab shaitan girata hai the meltdown lasts for a long time days and weeks unable to bring himself up and as i was praying with him my wife she says speak af- words of affirmation as it speak words of affirmation speak those over his life and these were the things that she sent me maybe you want to take a picture but yeah you definitely can't read that just listen by faith work you know faith comes by hearing 
These were the words she told me to send him. And these are the words we should be saying over ourselves. Hum apne upar ye baatein bola karein. Here's the, here, here they are. One, God is always with me. It's not about feeling it. It's about knowing it. Mera khudawan har waqt mere saath hai. God will supply all my needs. God strengthens me. I am a child of God. I am blessed. I am forgiven. God listens to me. I am chosen. I am wonderfully made. I have peace in Christ. My steps are established. My voice is heard before God. God has a plan for my life. God rescues me from trouble. God will never let me down. I am courageous. I am made new. I am sufficient in Christ. I will trust God. My God will heal me. Somebody say amen. amen. Speak this over yourself. Don't ever, ever say, I'm not smart enough. I can't do this. Don't ever speak that over yourself. I'm not the studying type. I'm not the one who can start a business. I am a failure. Don't ever say words like that. Why? Because you are opening doors of curses upon yourselves. Don't ever do that. Don't ever say, Don't say words like that. Don't say, No, 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 I'm just a little slow at math. Don't say things like that. No. Because the God who, who made you, He can supernaturally enable you. The same Moses who stuttered was the same Moses who went right before Pharaoh, said, Let my people go. Don't speak curses over your life. Don't. And so let's come to a close and then we'll pray. How do we release ourselves from curses? But if somewhere along the way you feel like, man, that is a work in my life. That, is, that happens to me. I want to give you a few basic things that we can do and then we'll go into a time of prayer. First thing is, Establish a biblical base. Well, establish a biblical base for your release. Apne aapko khudawan ke kalam ke upar kaim karo. Stand up on the word of God. Stand on the word of God. You're not going to be released. I'm not going to be released because I want to. Main chahta hoon ki ye cheez chhut jaye bas. No, it's because I'm going to establish on the word of God. Here, take these scriptures, write them down, turn to them often. Galatians 3.13 Christ redeemed us from the curses of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who is hung on a tree, so that in Christ Jesus, the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentile so that we might receive the promised spirit through faith. Stand right there on that word. If any of those curses may be coming occasionally, putting their weight on you, stand right there on this word. That Jesus became a curse, therefore no curse has effect on my life. Somebody say amen. Ephesians 1 and 7. In Him we have redemption through His blood. Last week or the week before, I spoke on the power of the blood. If you didn't, go back and listen to that teaching. There is something about the blood of Jesus. Amen. You want to see these curses, you want to see these habits, you want to see these failures turn around, you have to daily call upon the blood of Jesus. Somebody say, Amen. 
Colossians 1 and 12. Kursiyon, pehla baab bar viyayin. Giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in life. He has delivered us. Somebody said delivered. Wo jo hamara lanati state tha. Wo jo tariqi ki ke jal mein hum phase huye the. The word of God says Jesus came in and he took us out of that and he brought us right out. Hallelujah. We, we don't have to stay there. We don't need to be there. Say, I don't need to be there. Say, I don't need to be there. Say it louder. Say it louder. I don't need to be there. Jesus already brought me out. He has transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son. 1 John chapter 3, verse 8, clause B. The reason the son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. Hallelujah. Jesus came to destroy every plan, every scheme, every agenda, every weapon that is fashioned against us. Jesus came to destroy the works of the evil one. And every curse by Jesus' completed work on the cross is broken. Say amen. Sari lanate. Yesu masih ke salib par jane ke sabab se. Hamare upar se toot gai hai. I don't have any curse upon my life. Amen. Uh, there's no curse that should still be in effect in my life. No curse. We must stand on this established biblical truth. Luke 10 and 19. Luka daswam baap undi sviyayin. Behold, I have given you. I have given you. Sabbole, I have given you. The King of Kings. The Lord of Lord. The God and King of Glory. Has given to you His authority. Hallelujah. That is something. It is far better than anything this world can offer. Hamare Khuda ne hume ikhtiyar diya hai to tread on serpents, scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. Hallelujah. So first, how do we break away from these curses? We have to establish ourselves on the Word of God. Isko kola kijiye. Open this word. Oh man, it is treasures. It is treasures. Ye khazane hain. Just I read and say, wow, what a blessing. That blessing is for me. On Easter Sunday, I said everything God has spoken concerning you. Jo kuch bhi khuda wande aapke liye kaha hai, kyunke wo zinda hai, it is all valid. You can receive this. The second thing is, Resist the power of this curse, whatever may be. Confess your faith in Christ daily that He is your high priest. Commit yourselves to obedience. God, I can't obey you in my strength, but in my weakness, your strength is perfected. I am more than a conqueror. Amen. I can do this in Him. Confess. Jitni bhi aap jante hain. Aapke guna. Ya baap dada ke guna that you may think and know of. Start to renounce those. Lastly, forgive. Yaad rakhiye, maafi jo hai. Ye ek bohat bada barrier hai. Ke aapki duayin suni nahi jati. I'm going to slow that down. When we don't forgive, we create the barrier that our prayers are... It, nothing is worth that. Nothing is worth the barrier. Nothing is worth that. There is no offense in this world that is worth God turning His ear for me. And the Bible says, if you're at the altar of God, 
خداوند کے مذبہ پر تم ہو and you remember the Holy Spirit will make you remember trust me <laughs> and you remember man that person that my father my mother my sister my brother my auntie my uncle my pastor his his pastor and el- they offended me he says just go and mend with them because God will not hear our prayers if we don't forgive say it's not worth it and lastly we got to learn to renounce these sins these curses hum hame shaitan ne na ek bahut bade jaal mein phasaya hua hai is the jaal of secrecy keeping face dujiya nu na pata lagge ke haadi eh mushkil hai kyon dujiya ne tanu kadna hai what difference does it make We fear people too much. So we're like, we're not going to, we're going to just present ourselves that we got it all together. How are you doing, brother? Oh, blessed. Awesome. Great. The curse is eating us up alive, eating our families, eating us whole. And we're like, we're good. We're not going to be a problem. Why? Start renouncing those things and you will be delivered. Amen. Amen. I know we're going to, this demon is going to take some time in our churches. The demon of people pleasing. It's a demon. Why? Because the Bible says, if we're fearful of anyone, we have a snare in our neck. And we're afraid what people think about us. We're afraid of how, what my image will be. We're afraid of all of that. at the expense of living miserable lives so let's stand to our feet let's go before god in some time of prayer this verse uh, this slide will stay upon uh, there go to the next one these were the effects that we talked about in the beginning we talked about these effects in the beginning Now this is going to be an important time. Please, I want to ask, let's not move around too much. Let's end all the moving as quickly as we can, loved ones. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Aye sab kuch lamha just dua kijiye. Just begin to pray. Har koi dua kare. Just begin to pray. Pray in the spirit for some time. Ru mein dua kijiye. Let the Spirit of God lead you. If your children are coming, bring them close to you. We're going to be praying. Just keep them with you. This is a, a very important time that we're coming before God in prayer. But everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone open your mouths. Begin to thank God for His Word. For His Word, thank 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 His Word. For His Word, for the bread that is Your Word, my God. We thank You, Lord, that You send Your Word, and by it You give healing, my God. We thank You, Lord, for the revelation of Your Word, my God. We thank You, Lord, that You are exposing the works of the devil that are still in effect in our lives, Lord. We thank You. We thank You, Jesus, that You sit. reigning victoriously my God that if we call upon your name my God you are faithful to answer Lord that you can step into every situation and you can overtake my God every work of the evil one that may be in our lives so today and this afternoon we come to you Lord and we renounce every curse that may have been in effect in our lives every curse har lanat jo kisi bhi tarah se hamare ghar mein hamare azwaj mein hamari zindagi mein hamare jismon mein hamari ecclesia mein operate kar rahi hai lord we thank you that your word is exposing it and we begin to renounce those in jesus name lord we begin to renounce them in jesus name and instead we speak blessing my god the blessings that are meant from you for us and towards us my god Hallelujah God bless you and keep you make his face shine upon you Come on if you know this song sing it over your lives to you
Just begin to sing. Lord, turn his face towards you and give you peace. God. God says that whatever we will bind on this earth will be bound. जिस किसी चीज को भी हम इस जमीन पर बांधेंगे वो बंद जाएगी और जिस चीज को भी हम खोलेंगे it will be loosened. And so please know that prayers, prayers of agreement, they are of great importance in the realms of the spirit. आसमानों के ऊपर रोहानी आलमों में the prayers of agreement especially those that are done this way under the authority and the anointing of Christ they are effective these are effective prayers so please don't take this lightly stay engaged in our time of prayer for the lord will bring about a good work and he will bring about deliverance so let's begin to pray now and let's take every door of curse that may be open as a result of disobedience and begin to speak the name of jesus and begin to shut those doors i ye sab milkar dua kare ke agar kisi taur se bhi na farmani ke sabab se koi bhi lanat ka darwaza hamare upar khul gaya hai aaiye yesu ke naam ko pukare and let's begin to close those doors of curses that may have entered into our family wo family lineage mein se aaya ho wo kis किसी भी तरह से आया हो हमारी नाफरमानियों लचारियों oh it could be from anything that we have done the words we have spoken शायद हमने खुद अपने लिए ये जाल क्रिएट किए हैं लेकिन आज यीशु के लहू को पुकारिए खुदावत के नाम को पुकारिए ताकि उसके नाम के सबब से हमारी जिंदगियों के ऊपर से ये लानतों के दरवाजे जो हैं ये बंद होते जाएं Lord in the name of Jesus if by your disobedience towards you towards your word my god towards how you desire for us to be lord we have opened in the realms of heaven my god doors of curses lord we pray that in the name of jesus those doors would be shut my god wo darwaze yesu ke naam se band ho jaye wo darwaze yesu ke naam se band ho jaye let these curses not continue down our family line hamare khandan mein ab ye lanate carry on ना हो खुदावंत ये यहां पर ही खत्म हो जाए लेट दीज एंड हियर माय गॉड लेट नथिंग ऑफ आवर डिसोबीडियंस और द डिसोबीडियंस ऑफ आवर फोर फादर्स कैरी डाउन इन एनी वे लेट इट बी सीज्ड in the name of Jesus let it be seized in the name of Jesus on the account of the blood of Jesus in the court rooms of heaven oh god i pray that these doors would be declared shut my lord hallelujah ah uh, come on open your mouths and just worship we'll begin to pray as the spirit leads and in between just worship har ek zuban khul jaye Could we have just maybe one other brother two other brother Richard if you could come let's sing together Oh ah amen glory See the Arabi adhi akasin daraba Rabo ya Rabi ala yakasir rabo di ala yaraba All those who are are called to the ministry of prayer just begin to pray 
हर कोई दुआ करे ओपन योर माउथ लेट्स बिगिन टू डील विद दैट व्हिच नीड्स टू बी डेल्ट विद टुडे लेट्स डू अकॉर्डिंग टू व्हाट द स्पिरिट ऑफ गॉड इज कॉलिंग टू अस टुडे लेट्स बिगिन टू शट एवरी डोर ऑफ कर्स लेट्स बिगिन टू शट एवरी डोर ऑफ कर्स कर्सेस ऑफ बैरननेस curses of poverty curses that come in unnatural death curses that result in any way oh god isolation and divorces curses that come in the loss of joy and hope my god the curses that come that make us helpless my god in the name of jesus we shut every door we shut every door we shut every door we shut every door in the name of jesus khuda mein yesu masi ke naam ke sabab se har darwaza जो लानत का सब है हमारी जिंदगी में बंद होता जाए हाल लुया रबो यस ग्लोरे जीजस हो रबी अकसी नो हदे अलय रबाला है अकसी रब रबह अंदर है अलही अकसी रबह अंदर रबो या कसी रे भी अला हालेलुया रबो या कसी रबह इन दो रबो रबा रबा बाबा है अलय कसी रह दी अलई ईसी रबो रबा रबा है अलय रबो रबा हम अंदर रबा कसी ने रे अलय रहम दी अलय कसी रबो ग्लोरी फादर ग्लोरी फादर हालेलुया एंड गे The word of God tells us that by his stripes we are healed. Uske maar khane ke sabab se humne shifa paayi hai. Yesu ke lahu ko pukar. Uske lahu ke sabab se humne shifa paayi hai. Sab kahein uske lahu ke sabab se humne shifa paayi hai. Now loved ones, I want you to understand ke kuch bimariyan aisi hain jo family line mein aati hain. There are some sicknesses that you may not have right now. You may not have the effect of that sin right now in your life. Be it heart disease, be it diabetes, Alzheimer's, you may not have those right now in your life. But because there is a lineage, क्योंकि वो पुष्ट दार पुष्ट आ रही हैं. It is significantly important that now, by the power of the blood of Jesus, we break those curses. So lift up your hands. Aye, sab apne hato ko asman ki taraf banaye. Lord, for the sicknesses we know and those that are unknown to us, in the name of Jesus, my God. those that might have entered into our family line as a result of disobedience, as a result of a curse that someone has spoken. Lord as a result of something that was not pleasing to you my God we pray in the name of Jesus that every sickness that comes down by the means of a spiritual curse that comes down hereditarily Lord we pray in the name of Jesus that that would break on the account of the resurrected Jesus Lord we pray that every curse would break my god curses of heart disease curses of cancer curses my god that result in the loss of memory in old age my god in the name of Jesus let every curse be broken let every curse be broken let every curse that is there lord waiting to come upon us in the time that is set lord let Let those be cancelled. Let the curse of premature death, my God. Let the curses, my God, that cause immature deaths, young, untimely deaths, my God. Let those curses be bound and cut off in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Har koi dua kare. Just begin to pray. Just begin to pray. There are curses that might have come down because of your forefathers worshiping idols. or from a, a a a fellowship you have left where there was idol worship yaad rakhiye agar aap aap nahi lekin aapke baap dada ne bhi but prasti ki hai the bible says he visits the iniquities to the third and the fourth generation 
याद रखिए ये हमारे ऊपर है बिकॉज वी आर लिविंग इन द लाइट वी आर लिविंग विद रेवलेशन ऑफ गॉड्स वर्ड वी आर लिविंग इन द एर ऑफ द होली स्पिरिट दैट वी ब्रेक द कर्स सो दे नो लॉन्गर गो फॉरवर्ड संध्या रबे लिरबो पुकारे यीशु के लहू को पुकारे वो ही बचाता है यीशु का लहू हो यीशु के लहू को पुकारे यीशु के लहू को पुकारे वो यीशु के लहू को पुकारे वो ही बचाता है हो यीशु का लहू बड़ी कुदरत वाला है बड़ी अजमत वाला है बन के रूहे बचाने वाला है यीशु का लहू बड़ी कुदरत वाला है बड़ी अजमत वाला है बन के रूहे बचाने वाला है बल के रूहे बचाने वाला है यीशु के लहू से शिफा ले यीशु के लहू से शिफा को बदलाता है यीशु के लहू को पुकारे यीशु के लहू को पुकारे यीशु के लहू को पुकारे वो ही बचाता है Let's all begin to pray over curses that come as a result of dishonoring our parents and sexual sins. Aye sab dua kare ke khuda baap agar jaane anjaane se maine apne walidain ki beizati ki hai. Lord if we have dishonored our parents, aye sab dua kare. This is not just here to hear pastor as a prayer. Aye sab open your mouth. This is the warfare loved one. हर कोई दुआ करे खुदावन मेरे खुदावन लापरवाही की वजह से मेरी डिसोबीडियंस ना फरमा बरदारी की वजह से लेट दीज कर्स इज नॉट गो डाउन इन टू आवर फैमिलीज माई गॉड ब्रेक दो चेंज इन द नेम ऑफ जीजस हर चेन यस्सु के नाम से टूट जाए हर चेन यस्सु के नाम से टूट जाए लेट एवरी चेन एवरी शैक ओ बी ब्रोकन माई गॉड सभी father upon those that depression and anxiety has rested as a result of sexual sin kasila hadan rabbi kasila were taken advantage of that were misled abused in any way and lord upon them has rested the spirit of depression and anxiety khuda bab har wo beti lord that is wrestling with this spirit that was imposed out of de- deception Lord we speak liberty over them. We speak freedom over them, Lord. We speak freedom over them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we declare freedom, my God. We declare freedom in the name of Jesus. Let everything that is holding them be loosened and broken on the account of the blood of Jesus. Kabir ehdi ala ya rabbul hadira. 
just began to pray pray healing over them healing over those daughters my God healing over those sons my God they may have been abused at a young age my God manipulated deceived in any way or form my God and now Lord the guilt and shame rests upon them let that be broken now my God in the name of Jesus let every confusion be broken Laila Jonko Shifa Masiha Deta Laila Jonko Shifa Masiha Zindagi Zindagi Everyone who feels helpless in any way or form, helpless, be bus ki halat me koi hai khudam. We pray in the name of Jesus for that weight to be lifted up, for that weight to be lifted up. Lord, that weight of helplessness, the weight of hopelessness, the weight that I'm never going to get out of this hut. Lord, let that now be lifted, Lord, in the name of Jesus. On the account of the resurrected King, Lord, we pray that this weight of hopelessness, this cycle that just keeps going around and around, Lord, let this weight be lifted up in the name of Jesus. Bhanj ka bhi ghar basa Yesu deta hai Rabi adhiya ka sirabo Bhanj ka bhi ghar basa Adhiya re ya ka sirabo raba hadan dara dera Masiha <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, if by means of any disobedience, by us or our forefathers, my God, barrenness has set its effect on us, my God, that there is barrenness in our work, there's barrenness in our life, and there's even barrenness, my God, in having children, then I pray in the name of Jesus, 
that this curse would be broken in Christ's name, my God. Lord, as your servant standing now, Lord, in the authority and power that is of you, O oh God, together with the church, Lord, we pray that the curse of barrenness would be broken, my God. The curse of barrenness would be broken, my God. The curse of barrenness would be broken, my God. Let this curse be cursed in the name of Jesus, Lord. We know that, Lord, the fruit of the womb is a gift from you and an inheritance from you, O oh God. So I pray that wherever the hindrance may be, my God, wherever, Lord, the pull may be from our past or present, let it now on the account of the blood of Jesus, on the power of the Calvary upon which he hung, we pray, O oh God, let this yoke of barrenness now be broken in Jesus name zindagi ko zindagi yesu de that even as your servant David prayed that you would set a guard over our mouths Khudamad Hamare Ilfaz Jobi Hon Wo Barkat Ke Hon Teach us to speak blessing over others and ourselves my God Teach us oh God Enable us by the power of your Holy Spirit that we would speak blessing, blessings of hope, blessings of joy, blessings of strength, prosperity, blessing to be the head, blessing to be those of strength, prosperous in all of our ways, oh God. Help us to be those who monitor our words, my God. That we would not be those who speak curse upon anyone, including ourselves. Hallelujah. Let's just close with adoring the beautiful Christ that we serve. Just lift your hands for a moment. Just do a prayer of thanksgiving. Adore Him. Aradhana ki jioski. Aradhana ki jioski. Just begin to adore Him. Oh, you are beautiful, my Jesus. Oh, you are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Glorious are you, O oh God. Just thank Him for all of His advantages. Thank Him for all of his blessing bless the lord oh my soul and forget none of his benefits bless him bless him bless him oh my soul oh bless him bless him bless him oh i adore you i adore you my king and savior i magnify your name you are wonderful, you are wonderful, you are wonderful. Nothing is impossible for you. My God, you have taken me out of the pits and you have stood me upon a solid rock. And to your name I give praise. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Aradhana hoski, aradhana hoski, tamjeed hoski, tamjeed hoski. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. For thou, O Lord, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted.
Let's just sing, I exalt thee and we'll close. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. I exalt thee. that everything that is accomplished today in the realms of the spirit my God that we would see its effect even in our lives this day oh Lord Lord that those who have been set free my God would walk in the freedom for which we have been set free my God that we would never forget that those who are in Christ are a new creation my God and these effects are not for us, never meant it for us, my God. I pray we will live out our lives in the, in the joy that Christ has for us, my God. Let freedom be our Lord anthem. Let us walk in that which Jesus has accomplished. For it is in his name we pray. Amen and amen. Join with me in the Lord's Prayer. تیری بات چاہتا ہے تیری مرضی جیسی آسمان پر پوری ہوتی ہے زمین پر بھی ہو ہمارے روز کی روٹی آج ہمیں بخش دے اور جس طرح ہم اپنے کرز والوں کو معاف کرتے ہیں تو بھی ہمارے قصور ہمیں معاف کر ہمیں ازمائش میں نہ ڈال بلکہ برائی سے بچا کیونکہ بات شہد قدرت اور جلال ہمیشہ تیرا ہی ہے آمین and now the amazing grace of Jesus Christ the unfailing love of God our Father and the everlasting communion of the Holy Spirit Rest with all who are gathered under this roof and all the saints of the world now and forever.